there's always a risk that someone goes, really, I didn't realize it. I only like Zach. Hey, Zach. But, yeah. you know, that's not what this is about. It, it's about sort of seeing the positive qualities of what each brother brings to the table. The Grammy-nominated trio Hanson, who are celebrating over two decades of sharing music with the world since they skyrocketed up the music charts with their hit song, Umbop, just released a unique new album called Red, Green, Blue. It's basically a solo EP from each brother, all on one album. I'm just so curious why you decided to release it this way. And I know people might bring up Kiss. Mm -hmm. For me, this is so different. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Looking at the makeup of our band, you know, one of the things that really makes us unique is that we all write and we all sing. And there aren't a lot of bands uh, currently that are that way. Uh, and the idea of doing three EPs was kind of, that was the, the crux of the idea. Wow, we'll just do three pieces, like Isaac will make something and Taylor. And then we said, but, but to tell the story, it kind of needs to come out together, right? So you see them next to each other. So you, you compare them in the positive way. Each brother took their own creative path to their contributions on the album. Taylor's songs are the red portion. Followed by Isaac, whose songs are represented by Green. Then the youngest brother, Zach, finishes off the project represented in the blue portion. the music we're here for the craft we're here for the process we're here for the journey and i think people crave connection and music is one of the greatest connection points the greatest way oh wow i'm not alone and so uh, this project will i think connect with some people in a way that in, they've never they've never felt from one of our records i think the trio is heading out on a worldwide tour with multiple stops in canada that are already close to being sold out but before they hopped on the tour bus their hometown of tulsa oklahoma proclaimed a hansen day and the group also celebrated the new release with their fans in a week-long celebration and their fans are known to be karaoke masters hansen week or hansen day is you know fan celebration where people from all over as you you know come come to tulsa so a lot of times it's about you know just yeah feeding off of the fans. I mean, yeah. what they like to say in karaoke is actually the, <laughs> yeah. the thing. Yeah. The well, they can also, we have a full array of all the Hanson songs, so they can they can select any random Hanson song that they want, and but there's a karaoke version. She just version wants to know what you would sing. What I would yeah. sing? Um, well, you know what I could do is I could do Sweet Child of Mine, but do an Axl Rose impersonation. Yes, better. Oh, Even Sweet Child of Mine! Perfect. You know, just like... Just terrible. To watch the extended interview with Hanson, you can go to citynews.ca. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.